Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm gonna share with you the best resources when it comes to remote working uh, that I have been using and testing during the six years uh, that I was working from home. Everything from productivity tools to time tracking application to project management tools, uh, podcasts and blogs that might be interesting for you to read. If you want to be successful in remote work, Having good tools and resources uh, makes it a lot easier to become successful. The stability of any remote work environment is heavily dependent on your ability to use technology to get your work done, to communicate with your team and to solve problems as they occur. The tools that I'm going to share with you will help you find easily remote jobs, uh, discover the best cities where you can work from and also learn from uh, people that have built the successful freelance careers or location independent companies. Stick till the end of the video and I promise you that you'll definitely find something new that you can integrate in your day-to-day -day job and make your life easier. If you didn't watch my previous video, The Truth About Remote, remote Work, uh, I definitely suggest you go there. I will leave a link uh, up here. Uh, there I'm breaking down everything about remote working and I'm also giving tips and tricks that I have acquired uh, from working remotely for around six years. But now let's get into the video. And firstly, I would love to talk about resources related to the location, because in my opinion, this is the biggest advantage of working remotely, uh, as you're not tied to one location and you can travel around the world and work from anywhere in the world that you, that you enjoy. If you're looking for the best places where you can work remotely, Look no further because Nomad List uh, is a portal where you can search uh, places in the world and you can filter them based on uh, your preferences, for example, weather, temperature, and even how fast is the internet. Because as we know, the internet is very important in our remote work environment. You can also filter based on how fun, safe, friendly, or diverse is, uh, is the place. Speaking about the good places where you can work from, uh, if you ever have encountered a situation where you're asking yourself like where in my city is the best place to, to work or what cafes have good Wi-Fi where I can drop by for a couple of hours to work. Work from is a search tool uh, similar to Elpa specifically for uh, freelance and remote workers that help you find the best bars, coffee shops, co-working spaces and other uh, working friendly environments. In the last year I lived in around three different countries, in Belgium, in Netherlands and now in Germany and always when I come to a new city it's hard for me to find like a good cafe mm -hmm. where the Wi-Fi is good, where like the environment is work, work friendly, where I can work from. So I have been using this tool to find, to find these places and it's really amazing. The next topic that I want to speak about and give you more resources is specifically about job portals. Places where you can easily find remote work or freelance gigs. The first thing on my list is Remote OK and this is a search engine that pulls in data uh, regarding remote jobs that is crawling on the internet. The UX is clean and really beautiful and it allows you to filter based on type, salary and other things. Fun fact is that the creator of this portal, Peter Levels, also created Nomad List and was voted as the creator of the year by the Product Hunt community. That's really nice. The next portal where you can easily find remote jobs is called Angel List and it's in fact considered the largest marketplace for remote jobs. Angel List has a huge amount of open position. Uh, for remote work and I highly recommend it if you are seriously interested in a remote job. If you are a software developer or you are working in the tech industry, uh, you definitely should check the We Work Remotely uh, portal. Uh, it offers a lot of uh, jobs for software developers and also the other jobs that are related to the tech industry. For software developers, you can also check the Stack Overflow Remote Jobs portal. Uh, basically, Stack Overflow is a very uh, known website for any developers, probably everyone is using it every day, at least I'm doing so. Uh, but it also offers a lot of great uh, open positions for remote jobs, and I actually applied for a couple of, uh, of remote jobs that I found there. So I definitely encourage you checking it. 
Upwork is a very good uh, website to find freelance gigs. Uh, but if you have good relationship with a client, you can definitely get a long-term stable contract as a remote uh, worker. In fact, that's how I started my software developer agency. Uh, I started as a freelancer on Upwork. Uh, I gathered a lot of clients. I had good communication and relationship with them. And mo mostly I've been working with uh, the clients for more than one year. So if you are looking to, to find freelance uh, jobs, definitely check out Upwork. Now let's get into the next topic. And I want to talk specifically about podcasts. Uh, because a lot of the times uh, I'm working and I, when I'm not in the mood for music, uh, podcasts are a great way to, to absorb new information while working. So I'm definitely sure that it's something that, that it's interesting for you as well. The first podcast that I want to recommend is 21st Century Work Life uh, because it goes into depth discussing the new work paradigm of the 21st century including artificial intelligence, remote work, and distributed teams. The next one is called Distributed Podcast, and uh, something interesting about this podcast is the host of it, that is the co-founder of WordPress. He have built a company of more than 600 employees that had no offices, and everyone was scattered around uh, 68 countries in the world. So he definitely knows what he's speaking about, and you can learn a lot of new uh, information from him. The last podcast that I want to, to recommend is more intended for business owners and is called Rework. This podcast is about how to better run your business and is hosted by the founders of Basecamp. It offers a lot of insights and advices on how to, how to better manage your business and also how to improve the remote work environment uh, at your company. Okay, let's move uh, forward, because working remotely is great, uh, but managing productivity can be tricky. Choosing good tools for you and your team uh, is one of the primary ways uh, to make sure that working remotely remains sustainable. The best tool for each specific job varies a lot, but uh, here I will try to explain some tools that can work in a variety of situations and can increase your productivity. Uh, in any job that you are doing. For the project management tools, there are quite a lot of options out there, so I'll not get into all of them, but I'll rather uh, give some examples of the project management tools that I've been using uh, during my uh, career. Uh, the first one probably is Asana, uh, which is a web page uh, project management tools. Uh, I've been using it when I was working with one of the clients from Estonia. It's quite user-friendly and easy to, to manage the projects. Another one is Basecamp, which is uh, also a web-based uh, project management tool, uh, but it focuses on simplicity, so the UX is really simple and, uh, and really easy to use. The tool that I'm using uh, most of the time is called Trello. We are using it in the startup, I'm using it personally to uh, to plan my YouTube content uh, and for a lot of other projects. Also at university we are using it. It's really user-friendly and it has a lot of integration with other tools that you might already use. So if you didn't know about it, you should definitely check it out. Okay, that's it with project management tools. And the next, uh, and the next topic is uh, time tracking tools because it's very important uh, when you are remote working uh, personally for you to know what you're spending the most time and also for your clients if you're working on hourly base. Speaking about time tracking tools, uh, my choice is definitely Toggle. It's a little neat application uh, that has clients for, uh, for all the platforms. They have a web client for mobile and for PC. I'm using Toggle to track both my personal time and also to track the time of the developers that I'm working with at my startup. It has a free version uh, with a limit of five team members and it's more than enough for us uh, so far. What I really love about Toggle is the in-depth reports that they are generating and this is very useful when you are working with clients and you can just uh, easily share these reports with them or if you want to personally check what, uh, what you are spending the most time. Another free time tracking tool is Clockify. 
I didn't use it personally, but from what they offer, it seems that it's a very, uh, very nice time tracking tool. And the last one on my list regarding time tracking tools is called Rescue Time. Uh, it helps you optimize your uh, time spent during the day by blocking distractions, uh, by automatically tra tracking your time and setting goals for yourself. It's also a great tool for breaking your habit of uh, too much scrolling on Instagram or whatever distractions you have. Now let's get into the communication and video conferences tools uh, because this is also very important when you're working remotely to have a connection with your team and to easily uh, communicate with them uh, in order for every, everyone on the team to be on the same page. And the first tool when it comes to communication is definitely Slack. Uh, it's probably one of the most used uh, chat application in remote teams. It's a very good tool for both uh, team-wide communication and also for one-on-one -on -one chatting. Uh, we've been using it uh, a lot in our startup team and it helps uh, create different channels, for example, that are related only to developers and also other channels uh, that are related more to the strategy and this is a really nice feature of, uh, of Slack. Definitely go check out Slack if you're not already using in your team. When it comes to video conferences, uh, Hangouts is definitely a very good tool for that. We are using it extensively for uh, all our video conferences meetings, uh, for sprint plannings, for retrospective, for strategy meetings, and so on. Microsoft Teams is an alternative for Slack and other chat and video conferences tools, and it very nicely integrates with Outlook and other uh, Office tools. Another very popular and used uh, tool for video conferences is Zoom. Uh, it's specifically very good for large team uh, meetings or even for webinars. During this pandemic, I see more and more people using Zoom for their team, uh, team video conferences. So guys, to sum it up, uh, remote working can definitely be fun and productive if we are leveraging the, the right tools. Uh, we are living in the 21st century and we definitely have everything that we need in order to, uh, to be productive and to work from anywhere in the world as long as we have internet connection. You no longer depend on the office and on a specific location, uh, so take this opportunity and live where and how you want to live based on your preferred lifestyle. Let me know down below what other tools you are using in your day-to-day -day job that, will incre that increases your productivity and makes your life easier. And let's get uh, ready for the remote revolution together. That's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video and found at least one useful thing out of it, please consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a like. And I'll try to make more useful uh, videos like this in future. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.